We're here in Nashville for this divisional showdown between the Jaguars and the Titans. What a matchup we have at wide receiver today. Two of the biggest threats in the NFL who love to cause chaos for opposing defenses. How about this matchup, Phil? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. When you have uh, speedy wide receivers, what you have to do, you got to make sure your safeties are smart, they're talented. Both teams have that because it is easy in this game nowadays to get the football to the wide receivers. If they can't get open down the field, just throw them some screens on the outside and dare the defense to tackle They're all over him at the 18-yard line. First and 10, Johnson's going to take the handoff now. Got the first, unstoppable. He's at the 50, the 40. What a run by Johnson. They rip off the long running play early in this game. This offense, every week, they come up with new ways to run the football. I haven't seen them play before. Caught the defense by surprise, and it picked up big yards. Brits lined up now as a slot receiver. Let's go. Now first and ten. Going for the deep ball. And they can't connect. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Right, a receiver in the slot. Second and 10, goes to the left. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. An off-tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL, and a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Great coverage there on that pass attempt. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback Throws it too far and misses it. Right in the slot. Locker is going to take it from the gun. That ball has been picked off. Well, as a quarterback, I think the biggest thing is when you throw an interception early in the game, you just got to have faith in what you did all week in practice. Keep your confidence level up and come out here and get it done. Quarters formation here for the defense. The wide receiver in motion. First and ten, Maurice Jones drew. Tackle down at the 22. You got to know if you're going to run the football, you're going to have a lot of short gains. There's going to be a lot of plays that look ugly. That's just the way it is. You got to live with it and know what's coming in the future. There were a lot of folks, when you look back over there at, at Coach Bradley, that were saying when he got hired, wait a minute, who is this guy? There were so many people being bandied about as possible new head coaches in the league. And Gus Bradley got the job in Jacksonville. Yeah, you know, I love the hire. You know, one, because he was in Seattle. Uh, football people knew he was going to be a really good football coach. But it's somebody on the defensive side, Jim. So, you know, what do you want to be as a franchise? You want to be tough? Have a tough defense, all those things. Well, then Gus Bradley's your man. Third and nine. 
He's looking to the right here on this throw. Incomplete. Anytime your receiver running any route to the inside of the NFL, they're worried about getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at them. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Chris Johnson lined up in the backfield. First and ten. And the give now to Chris Johnson. And that gains one. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. Second and nine. The throw to the left. Almost intercepted. Bad job that time by the quarterback. He misses the receiver on the slant route. When you're throwing the slant route, you got to throw it right into the stomach of the receiver so it's easy for him to make the catch, and he can protect himself also. Jake Locker back in shotgun formation. Locker hits Kendall Wright with that pass. Another name for the fly route, the go route. It's a streak, and that means they want you to be a blue streak, run as fast as you can, get by that defense, and make a big play. As Wright breaks free. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Tire that defense out. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Jake Locker down the field and it falls incomplete well for some reason this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover two that's not the spot you want to go you want to look underneath or right down the middle failing to complete that one so second down here complete they knock him down behind the line of scrimmage well we see it more and more football's thrown behind the line of scrimmage they do it that time nice catch but a loss of yards on the play the titans at the line of scrimmage split backfield third and 11. jake locker down the field tennessee is in the end zone for the touchdown Something you always got to be alert for nowadays in the NFL. The fade route. The defense caught off guard just a little bit. Nice throw. Nice touchdown. Extra point is good. Rob Baronis lining up for the kickoff. And he'll start his return. Blaine Gabbert under center, first down and 10. That pass play picks up a first down. Well, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. They're going back up top. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. Receivers get scared sometimes running that slant route. They know their linebackers inside running towards them because they're watching the quarterback's eyes. First down, throwing again. There's a flag throw. He's scrambling down and throws it incomplete. Offside defense. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone.
take that gift from the defense and line up now with a new set of downs. He had no time to get set. Blackman's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second down and five. Gabbard still got the football after the play fake. Oh, uh, there's nothing like a play action pass. When the offensive lineman make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. And he, he's got the touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? Extra point is good. The Titans are ready to take it to them. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Right, lined up in the slot. First and ten. Now, makes the move to the right. He's brought to a halt. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Lockers back in shotgun formation. Airtight coverage. Incomplete. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football falls incomplete. now this is a screenplay all the way so a three and out good job by the defense uh, they're well taught well schooled by the defensive coordinator they know in situations like this if it's thrown short of the first down marker they're good they come up make the tackle now we have fourth down Locker's going to take it from the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. They fail to convert here on fourth down. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Jones Drews lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. That'll do it for the first quarter here in Nashville, Tennessee, and we'll be back in just a moment. Coming up. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Looks to his left. Makes the grab. And gains 12. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. First down here after the completion. Will run it. Here's the handoff. Gain of seven. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. This will be second down. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. Oh, man, he almost gets in the end zone so close to getting over the goal line. Maurice Jones jams it across the goal line for the touchdown. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. Jaguars ready for action. And 
and he begins his return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Chris Johnson lined up in the backfield. Run it with the counter. Good job by the running back that time. Finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. First down here after the run. Johnson's going to get it again here. He stacked up at that point. Chris Johnson's one of those running backs. You just got to keep giving him the football because sooner or later, he's going to make that big play that helps you get touchdowns. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. The offensive coordinator's just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback, so either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. Locker standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And complete. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. After the long game, let's see what they do here. That's a gain of seven. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run and the defense being too aggressive. They're over pursuing, so you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. What is it about Mike Munchak that gets your attention when you talk about him as a head coach? Well, I, I think it comes down to this. When you talk about the NFL, we talk about quarterbacks, receivers, all those kind of things. But it still is about your offense and defensive linemen. And Mike Munchak, I think, hey, being a Hall of Famer offensive lineman, they've got to get their offensive line back up. Touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Add the extra point, the kick is good. Titans ready to take it to the opponent. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Blaine Gabbert under center. Under pressure and incomplete. Blackman's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and ten. Jones Drew's going to secure the handoff. Maurice Jones Drew running right past everyone. Maurice Jones Drew. He might not be tall, but he is a big man. He can break tackles and find ways to get big runs. Nice job that time. Back to the ground now on first down. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped their run just for a short game. Second and six. Setting up screen. He has the grab. A tackle behind the line. That was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Jaguars team official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Blaine Gabbert, under center. So now a third and ten. Screen pass. Incompletion on that hurry throw. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. Woo! 
Mariani with a chance to return this one. Bringing the play to an end. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning. Two-minute warning. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter-run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Chris Johnson lined up in the backfield. Second down, three to go. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Now third and four following the run. Locker's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Stands in the pocket. Uh, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. Nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. Walker is going to take it from the gun. Looking across the middle, Walker's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? First down, following the long play. Takes it on the counter. Taking off. Turning on the afterburners, Chris Johnson. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, it's his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Get ready. Pitches it back going to lose yards here. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Play number six coming up on this drive. Trying to work that left side. He's in to the score. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. Rob Peronis lining up for the kickoff. He'll start his return. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. Lewis lined up outside on the right. First and ten. Screen play is on. Slips past one player. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. That second down coming up. That ball is going the other way. That brings the play to an end. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Chris Johnson lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Jake Locker down the field. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Nice job running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback, and we get a touchdown. The Titans line up for the point after. Makes the PAT. The Jaguars are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. The tackles made right around the 25-yard line.
Blackman, a receiver in the slot. First and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. That reception picks up the first down. The Jaguars are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. One more snap, and we'll head to halftime. First and ten. That ball is picked off. And he's brought to the ground. So that's going to do it for the first half. Titans are up in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Titans lead by 14. a dangerous returner and he'll have a chance to show you right here. They face first down. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. The third quarter begins with this play. He's got room. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. They're able to move the chains after that last run. They'll stay on the ground on first down. Out to the 23. Good job by the safety diagnosing the run, getting up outside and making the tackle for a short game. Coming up, second down. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Offense lines up here. Third down and two. Gain of two. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? Jones Drews lined up directly behind the quarterback here. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Offense lines up here. Second down and ten. He touchdown and drawing close. Yeah, that was a terrific job getting that touchdown there. And what you have done, you have closed the gap. Keep chipping away at that lead. Make the opponent keep playing. See if he awesome. gets tight. He's tight. He's got a better chance. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. Gabberts will keep it on the quarterback sneak. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. Jaguars ready for action.
Titans come out. Two tight ends on the field. Chris Johnson takes the handoff. Johnson's lined up in a single back formation. And he'll go to the left. Bites off the hit. He steps out. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. This play is set up by the long gainer. Johnson's handed the football to the right side. Nice piece of running by Chris Johnson. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is please, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. Titans are in for the score. Oh, what a good job there by the offense. Third and goal. And what do they do? They run the football against the defense. And nice job getting the touchdown. The Titans with an extra point try on the way. And it's a fake. So, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Blackman's in the slot. First and ten. Makes the catch. They bring him down at the 29-yard line. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Gets away from the pressure. back normally but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot Gabbert throws the long bomb right down Broadway this offense can't be stopped on third down no matter the distance good job by the offense are in the red zone they're down by more than seven but the defense can you stop them and just give up the field goal try was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. The quarterback motions the wide receiver into the open flat. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. It's 
Second down. Here's the quick toss to the running back. The tackle was made. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short gain in the red zone. Third and goal from the nine. Toss to the outside. In the books. Touchdown. Well, that's really having deep belief in your offensive line, isn't it? Third and goal, your offensive line just road grades the defense out there, and they get the touchdown running the football. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. The running back goes in motion. Hey, he's man, I got him all day, all day. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Playing Gabbard in shotgun formation. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense, so quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. Josh Scobie ready for the kickoff. Spins out of the tackle. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Setting up in the pistol on this play. And the give now to Chris Johnson. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Well, this defense all over that play. They tackled the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third and long. Advantage goes to the defense. Third and 12. Wright's going to pull in the bullet pass. That's a terrible job by the defense in the gym. I mean, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover them down the field, and you give up the first down. That'll do it for the third quarter here in Nashville, Tennessee. Back in just a moment. Here's the first snap after the big play. The final quarter begins with this snap. They bring him to the turf. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Wright's going to get set in the slot for this snap. On second and three. Eyeing that left side. And Washington's there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done there. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Second and seven. Launching it deep. It's right. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Running it like it's an option play. And he's in for the touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. The point after try is in the books. The Jags are ready to return the kick.
Bartley takes a knee in the end zone. Blackman lined up in the slot. The defense gets the sack. Well, that's a good job by the defense that time, getting the sack on the blitz. And when you blitz, you're taking a chance. You better get to the quarterback, and that time they did. Second and long. He'll throw it over the middle. The Jaguars get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. Blackman's lined up now as a slot receiver. Staying with the passing game on first down. The Jaguars now move the chains. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game. Their confidence uh, for the offensive coach if they can punch this in for the touchdown. And he's thrown to the ground. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. Going across the middle, Justin Blackman hauls it in. Good job by the offense, getting another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field, that defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. He'll fire it out to the left. Five, maybe six out of that. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Second and goal from the five. He makes the catch, finds the sacred sod. Touchdown. When you're behind in the football game, drive down and score. They did that. Now the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. Lining up now for the two. Green, the nine. Green, the nine. Hey, watch the slant. Watch the slant. Watch the blitz. Richard, Richard, Richard. Back 22. Come back, come back. Come back, come back 22. Back 22. Throws the pass. They failed to convert on the two point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. They're lining up here for the onside kick. The receiving team has the recovery. Lined up in the pistol formation. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Running back gets it on the handoff. Slashes to the left side. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? They motion the receiver around to the other side. Second down and two. Johnson's got it on the handoff. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? Two, 
First and ten. The Titans get a first down. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. First down, following the long play. Now first and ten. And it's right in on the stop. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The wide receiver in motion. Run it again. Middle. And that gains a few. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Chris Johnson takes the handoff. They break through, tackle them behind the line. This game's come to an end. How much sweeter is practice going to be this week? after the win on that sideline. Once you win, practice